All right, it's uh, Wrench Gear here from Wrench Gear's Adventures again, and time to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of housework. Yeah, even the wrench has to do this once in a while too. So we're gonna give this thing here a shot. And uh, oh, geez, that thing doesn't seem to be doing too much. Not picking anything up. Hmm, well, I don't know if you can tell or not. But you can just tell by the sound of that thing that there's uh, there's no action going on in this power head. The uh, the uh, bar isn't spinning. Oh, I can't get this thing apart. Oh, there you go. Jeez, what a thing. That uh, that bar isn't spinning very well. Well, it's not it's not seized up. Nothing's stuck. Well, we're gonna get into that. I think I know what's going on with that. We're gonna give her a, we're gonna take it apart and have a look. So we got the old, uh, the old sweeping groom here. Look at that. This is actually, uh, we have a beam central vac system in the house. And this is a, this is a different one here. I picked this up, uh, used one from a guy because ours broke the plastic underneath the bottom here broke. So I picked this up used about a, I don't know, a year ago or so and kind of, it had its own little issues too. I got it dirt cheap so I kind of made one out of the two. But anyway, we're going to get into this. This thing here is a mess. It's got a crack in it here as well in the plastic. But uh, we're going to take this thing apart. This is very simple, very easy. I think we're looking at a new belt is what we're going to have to do here. So, you know, I can't say for, for other brands and other makes of how these things come apart, but if you have one like this, this is uh, pretty simple stuff. So we've got two, two screws in here, Phillips head screws, and uh, taking them off from the bottom. Sometimes they have this here bumper around here to uh, protect baseboards and furniture and stuff. Sometimes they hang on to the, they hang on to the top. Well, here we had a screw fall out already. That one that took off, it hit the ground and disintegrated. Oh, there it is, it got there. Okay, so these things are uh, they're pretty long screws there. Anyway, where's the other one? There's the other one. So those are so the only two screws you got to take out on this model. On other things, I'm sure it's different. So anyway, you got to kind of wiggle and jiggle and and like I said, sometimes this rubber bumper here. Sometimes it gets hooked on under here. There's a little lip here. And uh, whatever. Anyway, it came off pretty good. So what you have going on here is you have... Let's see if I can get this thing in here good so we can see what's going on. You have your motor. Driving a belt. Driving this power bar, this brush. And what happens is uh, these things here will, uh, these belts here will stretch, like any other rubber belt will stretch. So, um, so it's just a matter of changing that out. This belt, this new belt, local guy selling these things like four bucks, dirt cheap in my opinion. So uh, yeah, do this job very easy. Oh, look at here, I got this band on. Look at this here. Deerfield Beach Fishing Pier, Florida. Just came back from a trip down there. Had a lot of fun down there. Walked out on the pier, watched all the guys catching all the big fish and all the mackerel and everything out there. That was pretty, uh, pretty good time. Anyway, yeah, get back to this thing here. So we're taking this thing off. This, this power bar, this beater bar just kind of slops out of a notch here. And there you go. That's it. So what happens is these things stretch, and you can you can see the difference here if you uh, if you compare the two. These are you know these were the same belt. In fact, I bought these both at the same time off of the same guy. You know, I bought this one for when I was fixing this this power head up, and I said, yeah, hey, give me a second one right at the same time. So these were these were originally a year ago. These were the exact same size, and now if you look at them, you can see I got this lined up here. You can see how much bigger that one has grown and stretched. Like there's a there's a quite a bit of difference in here. Now what happens is when this thing here is going around and there's so much pressure, 
and friction put on these these brushes by the carpet um, when this thing stretches it there's not enough tension anymore obviously to turn this thing so this uh, the shaft coming out of the motor here will start to spin inside this belt obviously and it can't spin anything and you go oh yeah so what big deal well what happens is when that thing is spinning in there it's uh, it's creating friction friction is making heat and that heat will travel down this shaft of the motor into the motor and it starts causing all kinds of problem in there it'll wipe out your bearings it'll you know melt uh, melt finish off of these windings and all of a sudden you have winding shorting out and or you know all the way down into the into the brushes area and the whole bit here so you know heat is a bad thing for these little motors so if this thing is starting to slip on you for four bucks get it out of there get a new one in and save yourself I don't know what that motors worth but you know probably a hundred bucks I don't know so yeah if you want to you know save yourself the uh, the expense the cost of, of having to put a new motor in it or rebuild like I said I don't know what these things cost hundred bucks I don't know I wouldn't be surprised maybe more I don't know anyway um, we're gonna try and uh, you know get around doing that so slip a new belt on here so make sure you got the right one yeah I got the shorter one good so uh, this here is actually a little difficult to do because it is so short you got to really pull and tug on that thing so yeah you just slip it over the end clock this thing back in here clocks in the end this piece here and we're going to just stretch that thing over top of that uh, shaft of that motor and uh, that's a that can be a tough tough one oh, it's a two-hander get on there sucker all right there it is okay rotate it around a little bit and you'll watch this thing kind of center itself on the uh, on the end there and there it is that's all there is to it pretty simple job and um, look at the rest of it that's a mess in there that's always a thing you can never get that crap and crud off of there everything known man gets spun around there tinsel off of the tree and cat's tail and everything else gets stuck in there hey oh look out come on look at that oh that's disgusting probably wouldn't hurt you to go in there on a daily basis almost and clean that out holy mackerel look at that what the heck anyway so i'm not gonna get all into that because it's just gonna get spun full again anyway all right good good call it quits it's done Okay, simple, stick that thing back on there, button her up, oh, make a liar out of me, alright, perfect, two screws back in, and uh, And we're good to go. All right. Perfect. I'm going to give her a test run and see how it goes. All right, here we got to plug back in. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah, you can tell already that's a whole lot better. And that's picking everything up. Except that, that's a spot of something there. Okay, well, time for a steam cleaning up here. That would be the next thing we got to do. Okay, well, there you go. So, uh, very easy to uh, replace the belt in your, uh, in your, oh, there's somebody at the door, in your, uh, in your power head. So, give it a shot and see how it goes. It's wrench gear, and we'll see you again.